Hi, Leo. My name is Camille. Welcome to Wells of Wisdom Tarot. Today is your Twin Flame reading, and we have some Twin Flame Oracle cards and Twin Flame Tarot cards. Um, this is a general reading. Please uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. It could be for another Leo. If you like the way that I read, uh, please subscribe, like, share, comment. It is my absolute pleasure to read for you. And it's spring, and I thought, why not? You should at least see what I look like, right? Um, leave me a comment. Tell me if you're feeling my vibe or not. All right. Hopefully you are. This is for Leo, and I'm going to shuffle the cards. I, I tried your video once, and it just didn't upload, so we're going to try this again. This is for Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. All placements. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Leo. Ooh, soulmate card. Mm. All right, spirit. What do you have for Leo? One more time. Leo. Okay, and I'm going to shuffle this one as well. Leo. I hope you all are doing well today, and I hope everything is going really great. I'm shuffling to share with you and show you that I do shuffle and that I just know as, as a person that watches tarot too, I like to see them shuffle. So I'm extending that courtesy to you. Okay. Let's start with our Oracle deck. All right. Oh, all right. Shadow work. This is like Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, this is working on your issues or they're working on their issues. Now, remember, because this is a twin flame reading, there are essentially two energies that I am pulling. Yours and the person that is your twin flame. If you are in separation, then you'll understand it. If you are together, you'll understand it. You know who you're talking about. I don't. So make the energies fit where they should. Okay. And remember, energies switch. They go back and forth. So just mindful and remember, keep it. It's general. If it resonates, great. The next card that came out with the shadow work is fall. So uh, perhaps last fall you had you were dealing with shadow work or that's when you went into some type of discovery that you might have to do some shadow work. And we all have to do shadow work. It's not just like sporadically. We are always kind of in that, okay? But something with the fall. Leo, twin flame, Leo. Those Leo spirit. Thank you so much for your help. Whoa, wow. Crossroads and unawakened. Someone's at a crossroads, someone's unawakened. I feel that is two separate energies. It could be the same person. Mm. Shadow work in the fall or shadow work starting last fall. Someone's at a crossroads and unawakened. Too many, Spirit. Thank you. Can I have two more cards? Thank you. Signs. There are signs everywhere, probably pointing you in what direction you need to go. Leo, or there's signs pointing that person, your twin flame, in the direction that they need to go. Okay. One last card for Leo. For my Leo. Thank you. Oh, two came out. Thank you, spirit. 
All right, so the one that the first one that came out is fifth dimension. You and your twin flame talk on a fifth dimensional level, and the fifth dimensional level is like the spiritual level. Um, it's at a higher plane. It is talking in your dreams. It's talking at night. It is communicating um, 5D, okay? And it's a, it's a deeper connection than 3D. And then also inner child. An inner child to me feels like this is what this person or you, you make it fit how it, however it fits for you, you switch the roles. Someone has to do some inner child work. That's the shadow work that they have to do, okay? All right, now let's get some clarifiers of this. What I see here is someone is doing some shadow work. Someone had a dark night of the soul, probably last fall, and that put him into a crossroads. Someone else isn't awakened. There were signs of a fifth dimension, but you got to work on an inner child. All right, so why is shadow work here for, oh, for Leo spirit? Can we clarify shadow work? Shadow work. Let's clarify shadow work for Leo. Shadow work for Leo. King of Wands. King of Wands is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So that could be you, Leo, that needs the... Oh, yeah. Okay, so the King of Wands and a tower with the shadow work. Okay. The King of Wands is a person that is fiery. It's your energy, Leo. It's your energy to a T, gargarious, um, handsome, sexy, confident. Tower moment is sudden. And then this is what's clarifying shadow work. So you're in shadow work. You're, you're doing the shadow work, Leo. And it, it threw you into a tower. Okay. What's the tower about for Leo? Thank you. There's a justice. This is two divine arcanas clarifying shadow work. So there's something that happened. It might be with the legality. It might be with the legal situation. It could have been a divorce, especially um, with this tower coming out. And it's a divine intervention. So it's something for your highest and best good. But it puts you into... It puts you... It's, it's, it was a sudden... It was something that was sudden, Leo. And justice is Libra, is Libra. And so it says soul contract. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's see if there is. The, the energy looks really, really heavy. Okay. Oh. Okay, so in the fall, you just got the Empress. The Empress is Divine Feminine. She's all four queens. And to clarify, fall is the Empress. Hmm, let's see what else. And the Empress is also the Divine Feminine. It is Libra and Taurus, okay? Oh, and there's other things. Sorry. In the fall, Leo, if you do the cross, if you do all of this, um, well, I shouldn't speak. Well, let me just say this. You got to clarify the empress, the sun, your energy, and it's illumination and growth, ten of cups. It is divine um, it's contentment, it's joy, it's family, it is, it is emotional contentment, okay? So the sun and the ten of cups is, is happiness. 
and that's in the fall. So you're going in the right direction. Why is the crossroads here, Spirit? Ooh. Ten of Wands, you're putting down a heavy burden. Or this is the crossroad. Should you put down the heavy burden? King of Swords. Quit. Witted. Oh, yeah. There's... Yeah. So... You're putting down your burden. And this is what puts you into a crossroad. You're putting down your burden with the Ten of Wands. The King of Swords is making boundaries. King of Swords is Aquarius, um, Gemini, and Libra energy. So you could be dealing with the Libra. Or you could have a lot of Libra in your chart. Five of Cups is old wounds. Five of Cups is regret. So you're putting down the regret that you might have about this um libra or air energy and what you're going after is equality which is a give and take and perhaps and i i don't want to speak too soon but what it's what i'm thinking this unawakened card which we're going to clarify next could be that this person your libra the person that you might have had a divorce from or a separation from or a huge fight and now you are separate from is really unawakened but I don't know yet. That's just my theory. Let's see. Unawakened. Why is unawakened here, spirit? Why is unawakened here for Leo Twin Flame? Why is unawakened here? Thank you. Temperance. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. The Moon. The Moon is a complicated romance. Okay. Temperance is balancing, it's balancing, it's, rest it's restoration, it's a boiling cup of water in one hand. Because remember, think of the card. It's a card with the angel doing the, the tempering of the cups. Boiling hot, ice cold, tempering back and forth. You're balancing something. Steady progress, because, okay, so you have the temperance card, Major Arcana. You have the Knight of Pentacles, it's steady progress. The Three of Pentacles is working on it. And then the moon. There's illusions. There's secrets. There are things that cannot be, that aren't revealed yet. Okay? So, and it's also, the moon is also something where it wants you to use your intuition. All right? It's illusion, the moon. Three of Pentacles, collaboration and progress about balancing this card in this type of, reading in a love reading the temperance card is like going to therapy okay but the person's unawakened somebody it maybe it didn't work maybe the maybe going to you're trying to work on it the illusion is is that it's not really working you tried it's been steady progress you even went to therapy for this person Okay, let's clarify signs. All right. Three of Cups. Perhaps there's gossip. Perhaps people are talking about something. Um, there's a celebration. There's, there's a change. Or this, and this is also Scorpio. Okay. It's a transition. It's a transition. Maybe you have to transition and move on to a different type of community. Maybe the signs are pointing you into the right direction for this person to get help. Or for you to get help. Why is the... F Thank you. Yeah, because you walked away. Eight of Cups. Virgo energy, the Hermit. This is soul searching. This is going in deep. This is going after the star. The Hermit in the traditional, in the traditional cards. You're on quest to find your... You're, on, you're going inward to find what's going on. What's, what's, what's the matter? Okay. Virgo, Eight of Cups, Five of Swords. To clarify, the fifth dimension and the inner child. 
So the Eight of Cups is somebody is walking away. And that Hermit card, you're walking away to find your enlightenment, okay? But the Five of Swords is somebody being sneaky and playing mind games and control. They're trying to control something. And they could be trying to control something um, headwise. Like, you know, just putting, putting mind um, gaslighting. Thank you gaslighting that's a gaslighting card to me making something seem um more than it is more uh important than it actually is or more detriment than it actually is you're walking away from that and you walk away to seek that enlightenment okay um let's go here i want to talk i want to clarify the three of cups and the death card Let's clarify, and that's just because I'm nosy. I want to see what it means. Three of Cups, clarified by death. And this is all clarifying the signs cards. Ah, temperance. Again, when we get major arcanas twice, it's huge. It's a, it, it's a very big deal. So tempering. You need to perfect your balance. You need to... Um, continue to go to therapy for yourself. Okay. I see you as healing. Why is the eight of cups? What are they going? What are they soul searching for? What are Leo's soul searching for? Oh, thank you. Whoops. I think that was me. What are Leo's soul searching for? Spirit, what are Leo's soul searching for? The Emperor. You're soul searching for the Emperor. Divine Masculine. What are they walking away from? Perhaps some of you are walking away from your divine masculine too. Mm. You're walking away from knowledge. Doesn't sound right. Maybe you found the knowledge. You found out knowledge about an emperor and you're going in search, perhaps. Maybe the emperor is the person that's doing the five of swords, is being sneaky. Mm -hmm. And then you're going on the Eight of Cups to find your insight. This is your knowledge. This is communication. This is the aha. This is the aha. And that's what the Hermit is going to find. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is page of wands that is your energy sagittarius aries leo all right and to end it we are going to pull some some oracle oracle of the seven energies by colette baron reed these are beautiful cards okay what is going on for leo twin flame Hmm. Seven, a deep breath. Okay, pull one more. Seven, what does Leo need to hear for the Oracle card spirit? One more, please. I know the deep breath has to mean taking medica meditation, doing meditation. Thank you. And a merry motive. Merry motive is number 20. Let's read. And I'm going to read from the book because I'm not very familiar with these. But they are so beautiful and I wanted to share them with you. Okay. Now, this is... Seven is in the first energy, and that first energy of the seven 
is earth. Money, family, inherited traits, survival, primitive instincts, security, stability, and the material world, okay? <clears throat> A deep breath. A genuine expectation of danger, projection of a threat without substance, fight or flight mode, inability to focus, trusting in the universe as a way to release fear. That goes back to all of this. The shadow work, the king of wands, that's you, the tower and justice. It is the destruction the rebuild is coming, but that's, that's the destruction. Fear is asking for your attention and healing right now. You, or another, are operating from a position of fear. If you also see red flags, you might be headed towards genuine danger. Perhaps repeating a lesson you don't need to learn again. You can honor this kind of fear by saying thank you and protect yourself by choosing another path. Choose another path. Mm -hmm. The one you want is the equality path. Put those burdens down, Leo. Okay? If, the, if, on the other hand, the fear surrounds the idea of taking a risk, be mindful. Radical trust in accepting the discomfort of the new is called for you Move out of your comfort zone. Ask for courage to take a leap into the unknown and know that all will be well. Okay? At the end, it says, choose love over fear. You'll be amazed when you do. Take the stories that you keep using. Don't use these same stories. They're not working for you. Take a deep breath in. Choose a different path. Danger, yes, it looks scary. It does. I understand. But don't stop. 20, a merry motive. Let's look. Now, 20 is in energy three. And energy, the third energy is fire. Personal power, will, assertiveness, action, vitality, movement, individualization, and extreme states, okay? Now, for 20, a merry motive. Key concepts, knowing your own motives, understanding what drives you to meet your goals, the momentum your attention creates, and the wisdom behind your intentions, all right? This card talks about that you must choose to be in your flow, in the zen, in those vibrations the good the high vibrations that all leos have i've seen all leos have them um surrender your expectations to the higher power rather than being guided by your limited self the most important aspect to consider now is where you place your focus because that's where all of your energy will flow bottom line trust that the universe will provide the outcome that is a perfect match for your intention. It always does. Okay? Choose your motives. Especially in the stage where you're trying to store, restore balance, while you're trying to get the balance back, and temperance is Sagittarius energy, if I didn't say that before. Balance. Balance out that energy. In a love reading, temperance is... going to therapy okay leo i see a lot of change but i see a lot of growth and that growth will help you become the person that you're supposed to be and that you're meant to be i hope you enjoyed this reading thank you so much for staying and listening if you so choose and you like the way i'm reading give me a like share and subscribe. Until I see you again, have a good day.